are part of the first family. You are the first family. I mean, you, you've done wonderful things for this country. We now don't have uh, the political correctness that we used to. I mean, people are actually saying Merry Christmas. You can say Merry Christmas again. Yes, Isn't that yes. so nice, Janine? I love it. I love Christmas trees. I love Santa over here. I mean, you know, how do you feel that your, your father has done all of that, Eric? It's incredible. It is nice to say Merry Christmas again, and it is a beautiful yeah. thing to celebrate all the holidays with beautiful little kids like this. I mean, this is what America is all about, and this is what the American dream's all about. And, you know, this is why we have an incredible country, because we can sit there with the Santa Claus and with beautiful trees and eat ice cream and open presents and love one another and, you know, and, and see little ones grow. And it's, um, it, it's, it's the best of this. Hey, guys. Good morning and happy day after Christmas, or Boxing Day, I think, as they call it in England. Uh, happy Thursday. It's about 4 a.m. here. Uh, as you can see, I just posted this video, uh, a, very, a very short clip. Uh, the reason I posted this is not just to laugh at the, all of this nonsense, but to show the, the, the cognitive dissonance, the, uh, ju just the disconnect between... I I'm trying to think of a way, any solution to bring Americans back together, uh, how, how to resolve this, this, this issue where the rest of us see are, are concerned about the way the nation's going and, and the way that Trump supporters just seem to, to not even get the issues at hand. Um, like I said, I was talking to Trump supporters yesterday and, and it finally, it, 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 come, it came out that uh, they just don't, they really don't care. Um, they don't care that he broke the law. They, they don't care that he used his office uh, for personal gain. They, they don't even see it that way. When they see him win, they consider it a win for America. Uh, and they do, they're not concerned about, they're honestly not concerned how that win comes about, whether it's legal, whether it's constitutional, uh, whether it's even good for America in the long run. As long as it's good for him and consequently them, um, that's it. That, that's really all they care about is that short range, short range is his, is his personal triumph. Um, it, it, it's, it's concerning. Uh, the more that I, I, I look into it, the, the more it concerns me. Um, okay. To this video, um, I, I do not know one single person. I, I talk to people all day on Facebook. Uh, on YouTube, around town, across the country, in emails, um, and I, I swear to God, I don't know one person that has a problem with Merry Christmas. Not, not one. I've, I personally have never heard that. I've never heard anybody in a conversation say, we should, you shouldn't say Merry Christmas, you should say Happy Holidays. I, I have never in my life heard that. And then it just, it just gets more insane from there. Where 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 Trump Trump our Trump starts talking about uh, Christmas trees and Santa as if insinuating as if that uh, Obama liberals Democrats that we were trying to do away with Santa and Christmas trees. Um, this is the I think it's called cognitive dissonance the just a disconnect where uh, somehow in these rallies with this nonsense, this rhetoric, this propaganda, where it's just, it's become a, a complete fake, na a, a untrue narrative, a made up story of, of what they perceive or what they want to believe is going on. Um, you know, that, that Mexicans are invading the entire country. And, and, you know, if they don't do something next week, uh, there's going to be Mexicans living inside their house, making them speak Spanish. Or, you know, Muslims are going to blow up uh, their church and make them wear burqas and, and uh, hijabs. Um, it, it's crazy. Uh, the fear, the fear level and the rhetoric and the, the, just the nonsense. Um, like I said, I was watching Bo, the fifth column, and, uh, about three, four days ago. And he was talking about solutions and, and not being anti-Trump. And I took that to heart. I thought that was a great idea. That you got, It's got to be more than just being anti-Trump and just making fun of him, you know, making fun of them, the, the Trump supporters and mocking them like I kind of did in, in yesterday's video with the, the windmills. Sometimes it's, I just get so frustrated, it still comes out. 
And I could have done that with this Eric, Eric Trump video, but I, 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 you know, it's getting old, first of all, um, just laughing at them and that's not doing any good, but I just look at this and I, and I, it's, it's gone beyond sanity. Um, you know, the talking about Christmas trees and Santa, I, I don't even know. I, this is the first time I've even heard that. And these people, Janine, whatever her name is, Judge Janine or whatever, and Eric Trump are sitting there like seriously. Oh my God, Trump saved, or my father saved Christmas and brought back Santa like, like us, like, uh, 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 us, this is, this is the narrative that us deep state people had kidnapped Santa and Christmas trees and we're, we were burning them at the stake, you know, because we're evil. <laughs> And that, and that's the narrative. That's true. You know, if I didn't see that with my own eyes, I, I don't believe what's going on. It doesn't make any sense. Like I said, and then when I talked to Trump supporters yesterday, and after after making my point, my valid point that he's abusing office, that he broke the law and the Constitution, that he abused his office, it, it finally just came out. We don't care. We just don't care. We don't care. That's what we. That's what we elected him for to clean house, to do what he wants, to, to do as he wants. Um, so, uh, next move, I guess, is just to, he, he needs to, I saw something today uh, about he, he could possibly be impeached a second time, whether that's true or whether that would help, I don't know. But, uh, I, I truly, for a while during this last week, I considered trying to understand and reason and try to find middle ground with Trump supporters. And, and after seeing clips like the windmill thing yesterday, and then this Eric Trump video, uh, I, I don't even know how I could, I don't know how there is any middle ground. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. So that's where we're at today. Uh, watch the clip again. I, I don't know. It's unbelievable. All right. You guys have a good uh, boxing day, as the English people say. All right. Take care.